In Rack Forms, our goal is to make it so you never have to work directly with SQL, but you gain all the advantages of being able to work with databases. And there's two main ways that we do that that I want to show you right now. The first is with selecting data. So I have a form page here, and I wanted to pre-populate maybe this name field here with the value from the database. So I'm going to add a query module to my form, and this just simply says, go ahead and query a database and return some data to me. So I could write the SQL by hand, and experts may want to do that in some cases, but I'm actually going to use the Visual SQL Query Builder. I'll go ahead and click that, and I'm presented with a list of tables from the database I'm connected to, and I want to query from, let's say, the FB Demo table, and I want to grab the name field. So I'm going to do is just drag the table out, select the name field, and I'm good to go. Rackforms is now going to query this database, and it's going to return that result to me. And now, because I have a result here, I can go ahead and add a default value of name from my database. And just like that now, name is going to be displayed on my form. Even better, we can also create database tables as well. So I have a job here called SQL Demo, and I want Rack Forms to send the results of this form submission to a new database table. And doing so could not be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my form page. I'm going to right click and select MySQL Automator. I'm then going to check over the values that Rackforms has put. In this case, I'm going to send it to a database called Rackforms. That's my default database. And it's going to create a table called SQL Demo for me. Um, here are the two fields that it's going to write. All looks good. So I'll just click Table and Add SQL Plus Insert Item. Now, two really awesome things just happened. The first is Rackforms wrote the SQL that this form needs to submit that data. And it's also gone into my database and created a new table called SQL Demo, right? So the job name is now the same as the table name, nice and tidy. And of course now, if I go ahead and submit this form with some information, Rackforms is now automatically going to insert this record into my database without any SQL coding. So, of course, there are many more features to our SQL future uh, set. Any questions about those, please, please let us know at info at rackforms.com. And thanks for watching.